Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for All Sun, Moon and Rising um, Aquarian uh, Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is a week of uh, water energy. It is the week of the... Um, it is a week from the hermit, and the hermit is the energy vibration of water. It's going within, connecting with the unseen world, and it's a week of healing. As I look at your week to see where your healing comes up, your healing is going to be taking place in the middle of the week on Wednesday, whatsoever is happening. There is also healing on Monday for some people and healing on Wednesday for some people. Healing on Monday, it's going to be with people. Healing on Wednesday, it's going to be with money. Okay, so whatsoever um, is going on there, it has to be um, healed. So you need to understand what is going on here because um, whatever the situation is, it's going to be healed. Okay, um, it's 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 a week where emotions are very high. It has um, emotion. It has thoughts. It's a healing where love is coming in. Thank you to all you Aries. Um, who have been supporting my channels I want to say thank you so much for all the wonderful blessings that you have been sending to me and all the wonderful situations that have been coming up in um, your life and uh, um, the changes that are happening thank you for the likes and sharing the thumbs up um, it has been a wonderful time please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign not only that listen to the um, general readings for the month of July that is coming up soon okay because July um, the tables are going to turn so these are going to happen so okay as I look at your reading you Aries there's a lot of people but yes love there is a, a stable balances that is coming uh, to the energy of love there is um, situation that are happening for you guys there is no absolutely no um, um, energy that is going to protect you in this week because your energy vibration of the fire is not in this week it's all about a water week so it's all about conflicts it's all about situation with money and that sort of a thing so be aware of what is going on for you Aries out there because money is so prominent in this week there is money the seven the five of pentacles uh, five of cups so number five is going to be a significant role new beginnings new opening are going to happen for you um, Aries on Thursday Thursday seems to be a good day Thursday of this week is going to be a good day for a lot of people because I'm seeing um, that the energy on Thursday for a lot of signs are happening a lot of signs I don't know what is happening out there because I know it's an energy it's a week where the energies of um, wonderful um, cleansing and good things are coming in for a lot of people but Thursday seems to be the day when it's it's good things it's as if the universal angels the intergalactic beams are here and the cosmic beams in this week so what they're doing is opening up a thin veil so Thursday is going to be positive for you um, um, Aries there is absolutely no supporting energies for you guys in this week the number five a lot of changes are happening the number five energy is here um, um some Aries um, are walking away from um, money for whatever reason they're walking away from money whatever is happening there's judgment um, there, there's a situation with a king of sword a king of sword is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and um this king of sword there is someone is as if your child is giving love to this king of swords whoever this person could be and you're feeling a little bit down about this um because obviously um you're feeling bad because it's as if your child is not connecting with you but is connecting to this um person who is a libra um a, an aquarius or a gemini and it's, it's, it's bringing love to this person whoever this person is so I be aware of whatever is going on because uh, there's a judgment and this judgment that is coming upon you have to do with because the Queen of Sword sorry the Queen of Sword is twice in your reading whatsoever is happening you are having enough uh, this Queen of Sword this Aquarian person this Gemini or Libra person is having an effect on you Aries 
it's really having an effect on you Aries or whoever this person is it can be your sister it can be your brother whoever and your son is as if your son is giving this person the love that you should get and you're not feeling because there is something with money there is um, something with money there is a disconnection between you and your son whoever you are you have a disconnection between you and your son I'm sorry I, I've gone in the reading but this came up and is for an Aries person out there you have a disconnection with your son your son is sending someone who is of a Libran I'm feeling a Libran it could be um, I'm feeling a Libran but it could be the energy of a, um, a, a Gemini or an Aquarius but your son is connecting to this woman whoever she may be she may be his girlfriend she may be his aunt she may be he she he might looked at her as a second mother but you're a bit jealous because on Monday the judgment the judgment of this woman is as if the woman comes at you and she is saying you know blah 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 and your son is bringing love to her and you're going to walk away from the nine from money on Saturday whatever it is or you're going on a new journey towards money on Saturday there is something happening between you and this queen of sword and it's Aquarius or Libran I'm feeling Librans for a lot of you you're going to have a situation with a woman who is a Libran it can uh, and play the role of a woman it, for some people it can play the role of a man for some people this is what I'm getting and um, what is happening here is that this um, you're going to look for look far out to money it, it, it's something that has to do with money that is affecting this and your son and you know you're feeling a little bit bad because uh, um, something has happened whatever is happening um, the energy of the five of Pentacles is in reverse and and you have the five uh, the five of um, Pentacles is in reverse there's conflicts about money there is conflicts about money so you could be having conflicts about money with uh, the energy vibration of uh, a Libra a, an Aries or a Gemini this is what I am seeing that is this week focus is the conflicts over money for you Aries as we look forward the other energies that I'm seeing in the second half of the week is that new opportunities are going to come in for you so if you were looking for extra work if you were looking for extra things to do and a lot of new opportunities are going to come in and that is going to bring a balance to your financial situation what is ever is happening so new opportunities it's as, if, it's as if new things are going to come in which is going to bring a, a, a balance to your financial situation because when doors of opportunities open when new things open up up, you you are getting new work or whatever the situation is it's going to bring a balance to you and this balance is going to really 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 um, bring um, positive situation in your life so as we move forward um, we see the five of cups which is another five so you have the five of Pentacles and the five of cups so your emotional situation and your financial situation for you Aries in this week is out of balance okay there has to be some balance the number five is here so you have three times five in this week whatever is is happening with your emotional situation it's going to be balanced out okay so whoever is out there who's having emotional situation it's going to be balanced out because um, it's all about money your emotional situation is coming from um, out the part of money and it's going to be balanced out so the number five three times five two times four so 45 for some people 54 for some people four for some people five for some people is here in uh, what is happening in the zodiac energy for you guys um, as we move on and we look at what is happening your emotional situation is stem from money and um, whatever the money situation is it's going to come to imbalance okay and once your financial situation is balanced then you will be in balance with your emotional um, aspect and your emotional side what we have here is uh, the queen the princess the prince of uh, 
the prince of uh, sword is in the reverse form okay and whoever this prince of swords is sword is uh, it can be a libran an aquarius or a gemini he's in the reverse form and love uh, is going to flow in your life so whoever this person was is, is you know you're having a situation with your son for some people um, who are having kids and for the rest you are having situation with um, new opportunities are coming in and these new opportunities are going to balance your 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 financial situation and by your financial situation in balance then you are going to see that your emotion will also be in balance because um, whenever your financial situation is out of balance your emotional situation is um, not in good balance and then what is happening here is that um, whoever this prince of sword is um, he's going to be in the reverse form and then your in a um, emotional is uh, going to uh, be feeling you're going to bring balance back to um, your emotional situation so in the latter part of the week and uh, there is going to be um, your emotional balance is going to um, balance out okay so um in the in the lot of parts of the week the, the in the in the first half of the the week is is not really nice because um your week is uh, the stem and the conflict of money that is your energy vibration of the week is the conflict of money there is something that has to do with money it's the conflict of money um as we look further um the love in this week is you're going to see the love coming um, to the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Whatever emotional unbalance that you have is because of your financial situation. Okay, so if you're feeling unbalanced in this week, it's all about your financial situation whatsoever that has been happening. Okay. All right. Um, whatever is happening, your focus for this week is the Ace of Sword. The Ace of Sword. Okay, this is the focus for you. Um, Aries is the Ace of Sword, and this is a positive energy um, that you have. The Ace of Sword. As we um, look at your week um, day by day, we have on Monday a water energy, and it is judgment. So this judgment is coming up with the Queen of Swords. Whatsoever is happening, this Queen of Swords had an influence on some of you. It could be your mother, it could be a stepmother, it could be your daughter-in-law. Whoever she is, there is going to be a judgment, and you're going to find out that she has an influence in a situation. So be aware of this person. On Tuesday, you have her um the queen of swords coming up so whatever the judgment was it has to do with this queen of swords because she's here on tuesday she's really really here on tuesday this queen of sword whoever you're if you're connected with as if you have a child and he is of a water sign so again this only affect the people who have a child of a water sign this water sign person could be a pisces a, a, a cancer or a Pisces a cancer or a um, scorpion if you have a child who's a cancer a Pisces or a scorpion he is um, sent uh, bringing love to uh, somebody who is of an Aquarius a Gemini or a Virgo okay whoever this woman is in this child life it could be a stepmother it could be a aunt it could be a grandmother whoever this woman is your son is more vibrating to her for whatever reason so you need to heal whatever the situation is you need to heal it okay on um friday on Wednesday I'm sorry Wednesday you have the five of Pentacles and I think it's in reverse which is good so you have um, the money problems and the conflicts over money is in reverse and with this money problem and the conflicts over money it is in reverse so it's good this is the focus of your week um, it's all about money and conflict over money but a conflict over money is in reverse so whatsoever that was happening to you and other people and you had the conflicts over money it, the, it's in reverse and the the nine of pentacles is um it's, it's you know the energy of the 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 pentacles are coming into you okay because on thursday the energy of 
the seven of cups and this seven of cups meaning that opportunities are going to come and if you were looking for financial help or whatever situation it was opportunities are going to come in your life and this you are going to feel very positive with and you're going to uh, show and open up in a difference in your life with these opportunities coming in with the opportunities and new opportunities that are coming in you're going to feel an emotional balance in whatever situation it is okay on Friday you have the the Conan in the king of the swords in reverse thanks God because when this man is upright he can be just brutal so he's in reverse so whoever this man was he's in reverse now he's in a reverse form so it has no effect on you he is really in the reverse form whoever this king of sword is it is in reverse okay on a Saturday the nine of Pentacles so something happened your as, as as you know your energy was the five of Pentacles which is the focus of the week that there was a situation with your financial situation on Saturday the nine of Pentacles is here so you're moving to better waters your financial situation is getting better so what story is happening to you on Saturday your financial situation is going to be better and Sunday you have the five of cups you feel as if you have lost something but you're going to gain something financial you feel as if you have lost something but you're going to gain a fit something financial okay so on Sunday, whatsoever is happening, you feel as if you have had a loss emotionally. And um, most of the time when people, um, financial situation is good, um, uh, they feel as if they're lost and that sort of a thing. And this is telling you that um, your financial situation is going to come to unbalance because you have the energy of the five of pentacles in reverse. So, you know, whatever is happening, even if you lost something, you're going to gain something financial. And this is going to be extremely positive and extremely good. Okay. So as I look at your week, your week is going to be and the six, the energy of, uh, uh, you know, the number five and the number four is a very, very positive. So 45, 54, think about 45, 54, think about them single, five and the fours, okay? There's a lot of changes that is going to happen towards your financial situation because the five of pentacles is in reverse. So there's going to be extreme changes about your financial situation. Again, I need to stress this because we need to heal um, situation between the mother and the child. And this is a week of healing. So judgment is going to happen on Monday and Tuesday. Between Monday and Tuesday, there's going to be judgment for the people who have children and their the children have the energy vibration of a water sign, which is a Pisces or a Cancer, Pisces Cancer or um, the, the, the scorpions because this child is going to elevate and go towards somebody who is alpha um, the Aquarian um, the Gemini or the Libra so whatever the situation is it could be he's moving towards a girlfriend or towards a family person but he's bringing these people love he's giving these people love something there's an imbalance you Aries whoever you are out there there's an imbalance um, in a situation between you and your child and if this child is of a water sign it's very important that you heal the situation because this child is um, gravitating to someone who is of a Libra I'm feeling Libra I'm feeling the energies of Libra working um, um, this week love is going to be um, an emotional week where um, you the emotions needs to be balanced your financial situation is going to get better on Saturday you're going to see that as we look forward let's see what the energies have oh this is a crown chakra <laughs> okay this is a crown chakra meditation is going to be one of the promos thing for you guys um, meditation and number two I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow within me. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me. It is so and it will be. Okay. This is a positive, positive card and a positive energy um, to receive. It's asking you to meditate, to sit still, think about the things 
think about what is going on in your life and this is good okay as we go forward we have the energy vibration of from stretch from stretch this is the number six energy from stress so um, let's see because I'm not really so familiar with these cards I always like to read it from stretch congratulations you have got uh, all the in the ingredients for every one of your dreams to come through everything is now within reach what are you waiting for it's not going to um, um, bake itself quit looking and start cooking <laughs> I love these because it's good okay I should read it another time congratulations you have got all the ingredients for every one of your dreams to come true everything is now within reach what are you waiting for it's not going to bake itself quit looking and start cooking this is so positive people this is a really 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 a positive week for you people despite the financial situation despite um, the energies that are going around you have um, from scratch and um, you have the meditation and from scratch say stop you know it, you know who is going to bake the cake you have to start baking your cake because you have the ingredients this is going to be a wonderful week so I guess if uh, um, you people have been looking for help and that sort of a thing in financial help and that sort of a thing you um, are going to receive the help whatever it is so you um, don't need to um, sit there and wait in because the cake is not going to make by itself so start cooking people so this is going to be wonderful no matter what is happening uh, in the situation with your child your financial situation is going to heal money is going to come to you opportunities whatever emotional loss you have it's going to be replaced by something much beautiful um, the energy of love a celebration the energy of uh, the healing of the heart a lot of changes are coming in your life so accept these changes and I want to say to you listen to your Sun moon and rising sign the July readings are about to come out listen to the third quarter reading and I'm saying to each and every person out there have a wonderful week